This is a rapidly expanding industry, generating jobs and green energy all along the East Coast. But concerns are increasing about the impact offshore turbines are having on the natural world, especially in places where some of our most threatened seabirds feed and breed. There are four wind farms in the same area and there's wider development in the North Sea. So a key part of the concerns are the cumulative impacts on our seabirds in the Flamborough and Filey Coast area, and particularly kitty wakes that are red listed and absolutely a uh, really vulnerable bird. Planning consent for the Hornsea 4 turbine fields being delayed because the government wants reassurances that work to reduce impact on birds will be effective. In a statement, Orsted said, we're obviously disappointed by the decision to delay determination on our Hornsea 4 offshore wind application. We will, of course, ensure the Secretary of State has all information requested in order to give the confidence needed to reach a positive decision. The offshore wind industry says it gives careful consideration to seabird colonies when it's deciding the size and the location of wind turbine fields. And conservationists say they need to because the marine environment out there is becoming an increasingly crowded and industrialised place. Conservationists believe offshore wind is vital if climate change is to be tackled, but they want the siting of these massive projects and the science behind their impact to be better understood. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North, on the East Coast.